good, too good to bring your opinion. That's right. People's souls are too valuable to bring your opinion. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Trust in what? In the Lord with all thine heart. And what will he do? And lean not unto thine own understanding. When you broke that, you sin. That's right. Bible says, do not error. Do not error, my beloved brethren. Do not error. Do not error. My beloved brethren. Talking right. to the church. That's right. Amen. That's why I don't get too close to nobody. That's right. That I won't pull your coattail. Williams and I is close. Oh, yeah. My father and I were close. Yeah. But if I, if I pulled my father coattail and took his jacket off, <laughs> Amen. you know what I'd do to you. Oh, yes. I am responsible for the time wherein I live. That's right. I was sent to this generation. That's right. This is my time now. And God put me here. That's right. And it's hard work. Trying to save people. It's hard work. All it takes is one wrong message to damn creation. That's true. And the reason why I'm so hard against it, it was one thing Adam did that got us in a predicament we're in. That's right. The Bible says, by the sin of one man, in the, by the sin of one man, sin entered into, into the, the, world, the world. And death by sin. That's right. All these souls we labor to catch in Jamaica. Yeah. yeah. I can't have no error. No errors. Do not error, my beloved brother. It caused my confidence to waver, and I don't want it to waver. No. When I put a minister in the pulpit, I should have to look over my shoulder. That's right. That's true. I shouldn't be getting all these emails I'm getting. Yeah. Especially when people already don't want you up there. You don't give them a reason to write me to take you from up there. That's true. Well, you got people already gunning for you. They're already gunning for you. That's true. I don't preach based upon feelings. You don't. Anyone been around me know I'm a Bible believer. That's right. I'm going to tell you what the Bible said, and I really don't care. When I say I don't care how you feel, I mean it from the depths of my soul. <laughs> That's right. I'm not trying to please God and you. No. I'm striving to please God if I don't ever see you. That's right. God first. Are you listening? That's right. Give me the book of Acts of the Apostles. Acts chapter 5 and we're at verse 32. Everybody here and follow. Acts 5 and at verse 32. Listen good. And we are his witnesses of these things. We are his witnesses of these things. And so is also the Holy Ghost. So, yeah, so is the Holy Ghost. Whom God hath given to them. Whom God hath given to them. That obey him. Right. Now, let's balance that out. Amen. With the first chapter of Acts. Of Acts. Back in Acts chapter 1, and we're at verse 4. That's what? And being assembled together with them, commanded them. Hold it. Uh-huh. Hmm. He gave the Holy Ghost to those that, that do what? Obey him. And what was the first thing we got to obey? Commanded them that oh, they hey, should command, not depart. Command. Command. Commanded. Commanded. Command is the first thing you got to obey. Commanded. There's a commandment he's issuing. That's right. Not to depart. That don't they, leave. Mm -hmm. Don't quit. Right. Don't knock off. Right. Be consistent. But wait for the promise. I of the order promise. you to be consistent. I order you right. not to give up. That's right. I order you not to give in. But wait. Wait for the promise of the Father. That's part of my commandment. That's right. My commandment: be consistent and stay there, stay there. and wait. That's right. But there's other things that go to that commandment. Right. You got to believe. That's right. Why you got to believe? Because you're coming to God. That's right. And he that comes to God must, must believe. believe. Must believe. There's a whole lot a whole that lot. come under. He give the Holy Ghost to them that obey him. Yes. A whole 
lot. There's a whole lot that come under that scripture. That's right. What did your Bible says there? Back in Acts 5 and verse 32. And we are as witnesses of these things. We are witnesses of these things. And so is also the Holy Ghost. What is it? Whom God has given to them. That what? That obey him. Someone say, well, Pastor Jennings, I received the Holy Ghost in a false church. There's things I was in was wrong, so I don't understand that. You only can obey what you know to do. Right. The reason why many of you don't have the Holy Ghost, and it goes for waiting for days and weeks and months and years. Yeah. You obey in one part, tarry, yeah. but you're disobedient to the other part that says obey them. Obey them. So this is how the Holy Ghost has been preached for years. Right. Tarry, 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 tarry. And you have narrowed tarry, tarrying down just the Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. That's they right. say Lord Jesus so fast and almost I love the Lord Jesus, 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 Lord He gave the Holy Ghost to them that obey him. When you are in the realm of obeying what you know to do. Yeah. You see, before you receive the Holy Ghost, clean your slate first. How do you clean it? Repent, Repent. before you seek it. That's right. That's right. Repent, Repent. before you seek it. That's right. Why? He gave the Holy Ghost to, to them those that obey him. That obey him. Obey him. So you got to clean your slate first That's right. by repentance. That's right. Wash me thoroughly. What? Wash me thoroughly. Do you hear this? In Psalm 51 and at verse 2. Wash me thoroughly. From my iniquity. From my sins. And cleanse me. Cleanse me. From my sin. From my sin. So when I receive the Holy Ghost, before I go in prayer mode, yeah. right. asking him for it, right. I'm first going to go in prayer mode to clean my slate yeah. so right. I can be worthy to receive it. That's right. That's right. How can I beg God? You promised me. You expecting something out of him, but he also expecting something out of you. That's right. Amen. He do what with the Holy Ghost? And we are always witnesses of these things. Back yes. in Acts 5 and verse 32. And so is also the Holy Ghost. Now, so also is the Holy Ghost. Whom God hath given whom to the them. Whom the Lord hath given to them. That obey him. That's why you don't have the Holy Ghost, because somewhere in your life, you're being disobedient. That's right. That's right. That's right. If you're a child and you're being hard headed to your parents and won't honor them, you ain't going to receive the Holy Ghost. That's right. You can't be hugging and kissing with your boyfriend and girlfriend when the Lord says, don't touch her. That's right. Because you're disobedient. Disobedient. That's right. You can't doubt God. Mm. Because if you do, that's disobedience. That's disobedience. So don't say what? Because he said, he that come to me must, must believe. believe. And must if you believe. say you must believe and you don't believe, you sin. That's right. That's true. Do you see how much is linked to obedience? That's right. So many of you got comfortable in your home. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. But you didn't obey. Oh, didn't obey. You in contact with that man that ain't your husband. You in contact with that woman that ain't your wife. Yeah. And then you're begging God for a gift that you ain't fit for. 
Oh God, thou knowest my foolishness. What? In Psalm 69 and verse 5. Psalm 69 and 5. Oh God. Oh God. Thou knowest. You know. My foolishness. Amen. I'm waiting. Amen. But what are you doing while you're waiting? That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. Are you keeping company with fornicators? Thou knowest my foolishness. Are you wearing pants out there and dress in here? Thou knowest my foolishness. Are you wearing pants out in here, brother, but shorts out in the street? Thou knowest my foolishness. Are you gambling and playing the lottery on the side? Thou knowest my foolishness. Are you FaceTiming half naked? Thou knowest my foolishness. Are you using some brother and using some sister and begging the Lord for the Holy Ghost? Thou knowest my foolishness. Do you know who the Holy Ghost is? That's right. The Holy Ghost is God. God. When you ask God, the Holy Ghost to come in you, you're asking God, come in to me. That's right. That's right. When he see that, how obedient you are. Obedient. That's an alarm. That's right. That rings a heavenly alarm. Yeah. It's time. That's right. For me to come down. She's obeying me. Hallelujah. That man is obeying me. Hallelujah. That woman is obeying me. Hallelujah. I got them right where I want them. That's right. Hallelujah. So is it. Hallelujah. So is it, God. Hallelujah. Obedience. Hallelujah. This obedience has separated That's right. between you and your God. And your God. Obedience closed the separation. That's right. You're obedient, God get closer. God get closer. That's right. God get closer. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory to God. That's right. God, I say. Amen. God get closer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. God, I say. And we are as witnesses of if these things. If you're holding something and that thing is interfering with your obedience, Amen. turn it loose. That's right. Let it go. That's right. No man can get sweet and bitter water from the same fountain. That's right. You ministers? You ministers. Wonderful. Jamaica, you better not ever tell nobody you ain't got to tarry. That's right. There's a commandment. That's right. You better repent and do your first works over. Amen. I'm tarrying now. That's right. I'm waiting on a whole lot from yeah. God now. That's right. They that wait, wait upon the Lord. Upon the Lord. Yeah. They shall renew their strength. They shall renew their strength. They shall melt up. Hallelujah. God get glory. That's right. Out of looking at us wait. That's right. You know how many times the prophets talk about how they waited? I had fainted. Go ahead, brother. Let us remember the apostles didn't have no New Testament to preach from. No. They just had the words of Jesus and the prophets. That's right. Waiting goes back to the old days. Psalms 27 at verse 13. Listen at David. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in I the fainted. land of the living. Lest I believe. That's right. To see God's goodness. Wait on the Lord. Hallelujah. 
It don't matter what it's for. No. God ain't saying, wait on me for this, but don't wait on me for that. He ain't never said that. No, no. Say what God said. Wait on the Lord. Wait. Wait. Hold it. Now, if you tell folk you don't have to tarry, and then you say you receive the Holy Ghost as a result of you tarrying, then you shouldn't have it. That's true. Because God ain't going to make an exception. No. For nobody. No, no. If tarrying is obsolete, then everyone that received it by waiting That's should right. not have it today. Should not have it. How is that? That's right. No, it's not being preached wrong. The boss commanded. And he commanded them. Waiting and obedience. And obedience. What did David say? Back in Psalms 27 and verse 14. And then give me Isaiah. Amen. And then give me Ezekiel chapter 1. Amen. I want to mount up. Amen. Upon the wings of the eagle. That's right. And show you who is the eagle. Right. Amen. And That's the right. reason why God is styled as an eagle. That's right. Hear this now. Psalms 27 and verse 14. Follow me. Wait on the Lord. You mean to tell me that's just for them back there? No that's way. just for a job, for no. a wife, for a husband, for a better life, <laughs> that's for right. healing. That's right. The Bible just simply says what? Wait on the Lord. Sometimes you got to wait on the Lord to make a way for you to be baptized. That's true. When I, when I was in Italy last month, uh -huh. there was a man got up and testified. He waited seven years for us to come to Italy Wonderful. just to be baptized. Wonderful. And he got baptized that day. And his testimony was he refused to go to any church since the day he heard this message. Without the Holy Ghost, he was tarrying for baptism. That's right. Waited. Waited. Seven years. Then another man got up in Italy. And say, ah, he waited five years. My Lord. He said he begged God mm. to yes. bring us here to Bologna, Italy. And God brought us there last month. Amen. Tarry. Tarry. Nice. Nice. That's right. If Jesus left us an example that we should follow his steps, his steps. then that means we got to do what he does. He does. Jesus even tarried. That's right. In the book Somebody of said what? Give me John 3:22. In the book of St. John chapter 3. Jesus even tarried. That's right. He went as far as tarrying with his disciples. That's right. St. John yeah, chapter 3. Yeah, yeah. St. John chapter 3 and at verse 22. That's what? After these things, after these things came, Jesus came Jesus and his disciples, and his disciples into, the land, into the land of Judea. And there, and there he tarried with them. And, and what else? And baptized. There's no way in that Bible Amen. that makes tarrying obsolete no in way. no form. No whether way. it's for the Holy Ghost, whether it's for healing, whether it's for deliverance. That's right. Wait on the Lord. Back in Psalms 27 and verse 14. Yes. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. Wait a minute. Hmm. While I'm waiting, Amen. he advised me to be of good courage because the prophet know waiting can discourage you. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. That's why he didn't just say wait. No. But he also instructing us how to feel. Be of good courage. In other words, he's tapping into your emotions. That's right. Because you know your emotions are liable to go down. That's right. Why you wait. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Amen. So what is God telling us through the prophet? Hang in there. Hang in there. While you're waiting, hang in there. That's right. And be obedient while you're hanging in there. That's right. Yeah. What is this written for? Our learning. Our learning. Wait on the Lord. Be a no, just go out there running. Wait on the Lord. There it is. When you don't do this, you're disobedient. That's right. That's right. Wait on the Lord. On the Lord. Be of good courage. Be of good courage. And he. And he. That same Lord. Shall strengthen thine heart. 
Why? What? Because your heart become faint. Your heart become emotionally tired. Your heart become exhausted because you're waiting and you seem like you've been waiting long. But if God answered you 50 years later, it ain't 50 years to him. No. Long to you. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hear this. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage. And what? And he shall strengthen thine heart. What else? Wait, I say. Wait! I say. On the Lord. On the Lord. And in Psalms 37 and at verse 7. Tell you what? Rest in the Lord. Hallelujah. Do you hear all this Bible? This is what I mean by ready divide the word of truth. It says rest. Rest in the Lord. In the Lord. And wait. Hallelujah. 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 Right that, that's just as good now <laughs> as it was when it was written. Hallelujah. Because God is tapping to the emotions of the people. That's right. The people's emotions today is the same as they were yesterday. Oh, no. That's right. Everybody get weary for waiting. That's right. Hallelujah. One scripture talk about don't get weary and don't faint in your mind. Faint in your mind. Did you hear this? Rest in the Lord. Rest in the Lord. And wait patiently for him. Wait. Wait a minute. How should we wait? Patiently. Patiently. For him. For him. Because he know we get impatient. That's right. And these are scriptures that must be obeyed regardless of what you're seeking. That's right. He give the Holy Ghost. To them that obey him. To them that obey him. So there's other scriptures. Other scriptures. Guidelines uh -huh. that are required that we got to obey. That's right. So the promise can come into you. That's right. You ain't going to receive the Holy Ghost and you disobeying the leadership. No way. You ain't going to receive the Holy Ghost and you hard head and stubborn. Whatever God says and you refuse to obey. Well, Pastor Jim, I'm struggling with it. Then that's between you and God. But I know the Bible says in the book of Acts. Back in Acts 5 and verse 32. And we are as witnesses of these things. Your struggle will hinder you from receiving the Holy Ghost because you're going to be indulging and stopping. Indulging and stopping. Lord. So while you're obeying, God is getting closer. But the moment yeah. you have that setback, that stops. You had that setback, he stopped. My Lord. You had that setback, he stopped. And the more you indulge, the more gap form between you and God. That's right. For he said your sins are separated between you and God. And your sins God. and your iniquity have hid his face from you. Hid his face from you. That's true. That's right. And the only thing that's going to make God face notice you mm. is your repentance yeah. and starting all over. That's right. Hallelujah. All right, listen. And we are his witnesses of these things. We are here. Hear this? Back in Acts 5 and verse 32. We are the witnesses of these things. And so things. is also the Holy Ghost. So also the Holy Ghost. Whom God hath given to them that obey him. None of you ministers better not go out there talking about you ain't got the tarry. None of you. That's right. It's a commandment. That's right. The Man. Bible said all things must be fulfilled that are written in the law of Moses and in the prophets yes. and in the Psalms concerning, concerning me. me. The prophets and the Psalms and Moses preached about wait. That's right. And then Paul come along and said, I told you no other thing. No other thing. But what Moses and the prophets prophet. said should come. That's right. And it's here now. That's right. Amen. I was waiting for the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. And was doing wrong simultaneously. Wow. The moment I became obedient to what I knew, I received the Holy Ghost. That's something. And like I often give you the story about me and my wife when we were younger, before we got married. I had the Holy Ghost. Yeah. She didn't. 
But I knew I was in her way. I knew it. I ain't wanted to get out of her way. <laughs> no, I ain't wanted to get out of her way. I enjoy going seeing her. Yeah. And she greet me with a hug. Dead God, glory to God. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And joy did I say. Yeah. Amen. She was like, hit me at the door. I was like a little kid in the candy store. I came in. I couldn't wait to be hugged. <laughs> she hugged me. In my mind, don't go, go, don't go, go make it no space between me and you. <laughs> Sometimes she'll hug me, you know, like a mother do, uh, like a mother do a son, you know, try, trying to do it right. Trying try to do it right. You know, hug me, leaning. I was like, uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah. Don't go hugging me, bending over. I'm, you way over there, I'm way over here. Oh, no. Here, here I come, the long arm of the law. <laughs> and she'd be like, Gino, what you doing? I'd be like, hush your mouth. Yeah. Oh, Lord. But I knew I was in her way. Regardless of what else she was obeying, all that was disobedience. Mm. Her and I sat and talked, cut off communication, fast prayed, and done it right. What? She received the Holy Ghost. Wonderful. And now you got the task. Now you got the task after you receive it is to remain obedient so you don't lose it. That's right. So, look at the things you have to obey if you're doing that you got to stop doing because these are blockages. Yeah. Yeah. Fifth chapter of the book of Galatia. Galatians. I believe about uh, verse 18 starts 18. there. Everybody all right? Oh, yeah. Are you getting this? Oh, yeah. Galatians chapter 5, we'll start at verse 18. Listen. But if you be led of the Spirit, ye are not under the law. If you be led of the Spirit, you're not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these. Uh-oh. Amen. What? Adultery. If you're doing any of that, and you're seeking the Lord for the Holy Ghost, you ain't going to get none. No. You're not going to do it. No, no. Listen. Fornication. And go back to Acts. If you read each one of that, right. go back to Acts, what he said, how he give the Holy Ghost. Right. Get, listen. Back to that. Read Acts first. Acts 5 and at verse 32. That's what? And we are as witnesses of these things, and so is also the Holy Ghost, whom God hath given to them that obey him. And what did Galatians say? Now in Galatians 5 and verse 19. That's what? Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these. What? Adultery. Wait a minute. You're seeking the Holy Ghost and you're committing that? Mm -hmm. You're not going to do what Acts say. What did Acts say? Whom God hath given, and we are as witnesses of these things. And so is also the Holy Ghost, whom God hath given to them that obey him. So if you're doing that, committing adultery, adultery. and seeking the Holy Ghost, you're not obeying him. No. What else? Fornication. Oh, and what did he say? And we are witnesses of these things, and so is also the Holy Ghost, whom God hath given to them that obey him. That goes for if you're fornicating in your mind, fornicating in your heart, fornicating with that boy, fornicating with that girl. You will not receive the Holy Ghost as long as you keep fornicating, fornicating. because you're not obeying him. That's right. What else? Uncleanness. Oh, if you're unclean. And we are willing. Uh, that don't mean if you don't take a bath. <laughs> no. no. Oh, Mind no. unclean, heart unclean, deeds unclean. Uncleanness. What kind of uncleanness? It doesn't matter what it is. Right. Anything that will keep you from receiving the Holy Ghost, fall under that unclean, unclean. you won't receive it over it. Mm. You got to change That's right. like Nineveh did. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Back in Acts 5 and verse 32, and we are witnesses of these things. And so is also the Holy Ghost.
whom God has given to them that obey What's him. What's next? Lasciviousness. Extreme lust. Mm. Extreme lust. Lasciviousness. What else did Galatia say? Idolatry. Wait a minute. Mm. When, you got, when you're full of idolatry, you're bowing to what you should not bow, and you're serving what you should not serve, That's and right. that honor shall only be to God. That's right. Whether it's money, That's true. whether it's some man, whether it's some woman, okay. whether it's job. Yeah. Mm. Hear this. Witchcraft. Going to the palm reader. Yeah. The terror flipping the cars with Sister Troy and Sister Lena. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Playing with Ouija boards. Yeah. yeah. Witchcraft. Then say the Lord legend, hell legend. That's right. You ain't receiving no Holy Ghost, you old witchcraft worker. No. Witchcraft. Another form of witchcraft is being disobedient. Back for rebellion, give me the book of Samuel. First Samuel chapter 15 at verse 23. Listen, for you that don't know what a Ouija board is, never touched it, never know nothing about black magic, but here's another form of witchcraft. First Samuel 15 at verse 23. That's what? For rebellion. What? For rebellion. Hardheadness, stiff-neckedness. Is as the sin. It is as the sin. Of witchcraft. It's just the same as someone that's a wizard or a witch. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Hard-headed and rebellious. rebellious. You're just the same as someone as a wizard and a witch. That's why Simon the Sorcerer couldn't receive the Holy Ghost. That's right. That's true. That's right. Yet he got baptized. He got baptized. Yeah. But he didn't receive the Holy Ghost. No. Oh no. You know why? His heart didn't change. No. He was fascinated with the power of the Holy Ghost. That's right. He comes to the apostles. Give me also this power. He, he even offered money. Offered the money. Whosoever, whosoever I lay hands on, they have it. Brother Peter tied into him. Yes, he did. That lets you know that everybody get, get baptized, heart don't change. That's true. That's true. That's true. Huh? That's right. Everybody, heart, everybody get baptized, their heart ain't changing. They ain't got no repentance, no nothing. No nothing. Do good if the man dried off good. <laughs> Let me buy that Holy Ghost. That's right. My Lord. Are you listening to the old man? Oh, yeah. Amen. I hope you're getting this knowledge, Jamaica. Get yeah. this. Galatians 5, now at verse 20. Say what? Witchcraft. Witchcraft. Hatred. What? Hatred. You got hatred in you? Mm. You got hatred in you? Hatred. Oh, I can just hate him. I can just hate her. You're on your way to hell. Your Even way. if you got the Holy Ghost. That's right. Because the Lord says love your enemy. That's right. And if you hate your brother, you hate your sister, you hate God. You hate God. That's true. You don't love your brother and sister who you see? How can you say you love God whom you don't yeah, see? That's right. Let's get that quickly. 1 John chapter 4 and at verse 20. Follow me. 1 John 4 and verse 20. Yes. If a man say, I love God. Hallelujah. Amen. If a man say, oh, I love God. And hateth his brother. And you hate your brother. He is a liar. That's right. I don't care how much anointing you have. If you speak in tongue more than all the churches of the state of Wyoming. Amen. If God said this, I believe this. I believe this. I, believe this. I don't believe you. I believe this. That's right. If a man, God said. If a man say, I love God. Man say, I love God. And hateth his brother. And I hate my brother. He is a liar. You don't love God. For he see, that, God, God take it personal. That's right. Yes. Because he said, what you do to my least ones, you do unto me. Any ill you got towards your brother and sister, God makes it personal that you got it to him. That's right. He ain't going to let you off the hook either. No. I don't care who you are. Glory to God. It doesn't matter. That's right. You ain't getting off the hook. No. That's why some of your prayers ain't answered because you got ill feeling towards your brother and sister and you too dumb to realize you're praying to God and you got the same feelings to him. Yes. That's right. I can't stand her. You can't stand God. Then. God. But I don't see it like that. Who cares about your little puny vision? Amen. The Lord said, what you do to my least ones, you do. And as much as you have done it unto one of the least of these. in the book of Matthew. St. Matthew 25 and at verse 40. And as much. And the king shall answer. The king shall answer. And say unto them. Brother, when the king talk, you better listen. That's right. What is it? And the king shall answer and say unto them. Verily I say unto you. Are you guilty? Hmm. 
You that are here, you that are listening, are you guilty? Guilty. And to as much. For verily I say unto you, in as much as ye have done it you unto one of the it. least of these my brethren. The least of my brethren. Ye have done it unto me. Yeah. You can shout all you want now. That's right. That's right. The way you feel about different ones in church is what's keeping your prayers from being absent. The way you have treated different ones in church that's what's keeping your prayers from being answered. That's right. You have falsely accused people in church. I, you assume your feeling or oh, how it looked. God ain't going by how something looked. God go no. by what it is. That's right. And then when you harbor that grudge, your prayers ain't going nowhere. No. You can fall on your knees. You can fall out and fast. That's right. What you do, this scripture blocks a lot of us. Oh, yeah. The Holy Ghost said. If a man say, I love God. That I love God. And hateth his brother. He is a liar. God don't recognize the love you say you got for him. That's right. He label you as a liar. A liar. And what? For he that loveth not his brother. He that loveth not his brother. Whom he has seen. Who he see. How can he love God? How in the world can you love God? Whom he has not seen. You don't see him. That's right. Brother, God got you locked in. And I this commandment. Got, wait, 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 wait. Do you hear this? 1 John 5, 4 and verse 21. Chapter and verse again. 1 John chapter 4 and verse 21. And what did the boss say? And this commandment. This. Here you got some more orders. Some more orders. This is a command. That's right. This commandment. Have we from him. We got this commandment from God. You know you ain't getting away from it. That here, he. Here, that, here. The him ain't talking about me. No, no. Him is talking about the Lord. That's right. What is the commandment we got from him, William? That he who loveth God. He that loved God. Love his brother also. It's not a request. No. Commandment. He ain't asking you. No, no. no. He's telling you, you got to do it or go to hell. Yes. That's right. You got to do it or go to hell. Amen. Well, I love from afar. Love bring you close. <laughs> from afar. Love from afar. When love is real, Amen. love bring you together. That's right. When it's real, how would you like if God told you he'd love you from afar? My Lord. You can't <laughs> throw your little stipulation in there. No way. That's your mouth. That's right. You got to do it like the Bible. That's it. Or God don't honor it. Mm. And you say you're God's people, mm. your love got to be like the Bible. Like the Bible. That's right. Or God don't honor it. That's right. The mistake you made, you got love, so you said, but you integrate your feelings, yeah. your idea, your thought. You are go to hell leading to your understanding. Understanding. That's right. What did he say about the Holy Ghost? For back in Acts chapter 5 and verse 32. For God has given the Holy Ghost unto them that obey. Give me Isaiah. Give me Ezekiel. Isaiah chapter 40. I want to itemize they that wait upon the Lord. Right. Yeah. Show you what the eagle represents. Uh -huh. I asked the brother, I said, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. He said, I'm not talking about someone that needs something from the Lord. I'm talking about the initial receiving of the Holy Ghost. I said, so am I. I said, do you know what the scripture means? Mount up upon the wings of the eagle. I said, do you know what the eagle is? He said, no, I can't say that I do. I said, I know you don't. That's why I ask. <laughs> don't you know the, the eagle is not only a who, it's a what? That's right. Glory to God. What did the prophet say? Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 31. Is it all right, Kev? Did you hear this? But they that wait upon the Lord. They that wait upon the Lord. Upon the Lord. Shall renew their strength. Got renewing again. You know why? Waiting is the trying of patience. Uh -huh. Is the trying of faith. Yeah. Waiting exhausts you. That's right. Waiting challenges your stamina. Oh, it yeah. challenges your sincerity. Yeah. It challenges how committed you are. That's why God designed waiting. Waiting. To challenge your sincerity. 
to challenge your stamina, to challenge your sincerity, to challenge whether you're going to quit or stop or stay there. That's why That's waiting right. is important. That's right. Challenge your endurance. The Bible says he that endures to win. Unto the end. In order to endure, you got to wait. Got to wait. And you got to wait. Our whole journey of walking with God hang on waiting and obedience. Yeah. You get tired of waiting, you'll backslide. That's right. That's true. You get tired of waiting, and for deliverance, you're going to quit and take matters in your own hands. That's right. Waiting is a major component to the salvation of the human family. Oh, yes. Israel would not have waited. They would never came out of Egypt. That's true. That's true. We are waiting now for the coming of the Lord. That's, That's right. right. And we have to be obedient, obedient in order for our weight to pay off. Mm. That's right. We are waiting for the coming of the Lord. Yes. But to go back with him, you must obey. Obey. Because now we're also waiting. Here, 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 here. Jamaica, let me give you a broader definition of waiting for the Holy Ghost. Being that you feel or thought, and I hope you don't think that now, that tarrying is obsolete. Did you know we're waiting for the arrival of the Holy Ghost for everybody? What do you mean? The Lord is the Holy Ghost. Right. The Lord himself, himself shall descend from heaven with the shout. That's the Holy Ghost. That's right. Coming back to resurrect the church. That's right. What we're doing. We got to wait. And we got to be obedient so we can go back with him. Yeah. While we wait. That's right. This is broader. This speaking in tongue. Oh, no, no. You're waiting for him to come in here. And you are obedient so he can come in you. Yes. But now you're also waiting so he can come for you. Mm. Right. And you're obedient so he can come accept you. My Lord. Still waiting for the Holy Ghost. My Lord, my Lord. You didn't see that, did you? Mm. Glory to God. Still waiting. Still waiting. Yes. The Lord himself. Yeah. That's the Holy Ghost. The Holy That's Ghost. God. That's right. Shall descend from heaven with the shout. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for that. But the voice of an archangel, I'm waiting for it. Yeah. With the trump of God, I'm waiting for That's it. Right. Dead in Christ shall rise and meet the Lord in the air. Yeah. Well, in order for me to meet the Lord in the air while I'm tarrying, while I'm waiting, I got to be obedient. Right. So I can defy the law of gravity. And when he said we'd be caught up, That's when right. he appeared, I want to fill myself. I'm going. But I'm waiting and obedient. I have to wait and be obedient to receive the Holy Ghost. Now I've got to wait to be obedient to live in eternity with the Holy Ghost. That's right. Do you see this? Wonderful. I got to wait and be obedient to receive it. I got to wait to be obedient and to reign with it. Reign with it. That's why you need an apostle, Shade. Oh, yes. You need an apostle to tell you the broad concept of waiting. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. Oh, yeah. Don't ever kick Terry out the Bible. No way. That's an invitation to go to hell. That's right. That's true. I challenge every prophet, Jesus, Jesus and prophet. the apostles. Oh, yeah. Follow instructions. That's it. That's so you can be safe and saved. Yeah. Don't run ahead of the Bible. Don't run ahead of leadership. Follow. Follow. What you don't understand, don't touch. That's right. No minister is to go out and preach anything based upon feeling. That's no. right. When you do that, you sin. That's a sin. None of the prophets did it. Oh, no. None of the apostles did it. I ain't doing it. <laughs> no. My job is to protect your soul. That's right. Not destroy. That's 
Okay. All right, Isaiah and then the book of uh, Ezekiel. Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 31. Get me. But they that wait upon the Lord they shall renew their strength. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. They that wait on the Lord shall renew their shall strength. Renew their strength. They shall mount up. They shall mount up with wings, with as, wings. Eagles. as eagles. They shall run and not run. be weary. Oh. They shall mount up. Mount up with wings. You ain't got no wings on you. That's right. That's right. And none of you in here got wings. If you do, please tell me how you got them and give me some. Let me take a trip. We can save quite a bit of money from flying everywhere. Put they me, shall mount up. Put me on your back. Put you on your, uh, <laughs> That's right. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> Listen at this. Isaiah 40 and verse 31. Yes. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Now, the reason why it is necessary for the strength to be renewed, because weakness, uh -huh. tiredness, Frustration, uh -huh. sometimes even unbelief trickles in. Oh, yes. Because we're waiting. waiting. Right. Is that the truth? Okay. Amen. So, our strength needs to be renewed. renewed. All those components that is sliding downward, we need that. Be elevated back up in us. Yeah. That's right. Listen. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. What will happen? They shall mount up with wings as eagles. You're going to mount up. Yeah. You're going to be elevated. You're going to be exalted, brought up. Nice. Amen. With wings as. As eagles. First chapter of the book of Ezekiel. Then I go back to Isaiah. In Ezekiel chapter 1, we'll start at verse 1. Now it came to pass in the 30th year, in the fourth month, and the fifth day of the month, as I was among the captives by the river of Chabar, that the heavens were opened and I saw visions. I saw visions, plural, of God. I had the first verse read so I can establish who he was looking at. Right. Visions. Visions. visions not not singular. Plural. Plural. Many visions of who? Of God. All right, verse 10, because my time is getting away. Start there. At verse 10, as for the likeness of their faces. Verse 9. Verse 9. Their wings were joined one to another. Uh, listen, man, just go, on, just go to verse 2 and work my way down. There we go. That's right. There we Ezekiel go. chapter 1 and at verse 2. Thank God, man, I might as well just rip it apart and take it all the way down. All right, come on. In the fifth day of the month, which, fifth day of the month. which was the fifth year of King Jehoiachin's captivity, yes. the word of the Lord came expressly unto Ezekiel the priest. Wait a minute. That's the only thing that should come to you. Yeah. That's the only thing that should come out of you. Right. The expressions of the word of the Lord, word of the Lord. and never your opinion. That's right. right. I'm telling you, man, your opinion is dangerous. Oh, yeah. You may not realize how dangerous it is. Your opinion will send you to hell. That's right. And damn others. That's right. That's why I'm starch against opinion. Starch. Amen. I have no respect for nobody's opinion touching the Bible. That's nobody's. Right. How much plainer can I make it? I mean nobody. Nobody. Other than the Lord himself. That's right. Yeah. The word of the Lord came expressly unto Ezekiel the priest, the son of Buzai, in the land of the Chaldeans by the river Chabar. Yes. And the hand of the Lord was there upon him. The hand of the Lord, meaning the spirit of the Lord. That's right. The anointing of God was upon him there. And I looked, and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north. Vision. Visions of God. Of God. Amen. The spirit come on him. And the first appearance, here it comes. And I looked and behold, a whirlwind, come a whirlwind came out of the north. What you would call a twister. Yeah. Right. Coming out of the north. 
a great cloud. A great cloud. And a fire, fire enfolding itself. It was enfolding itself. And a brightness was about it. A brightness was about it. And out of the midst thereof, as the color of amber, out of the midst of the fire. Yes. Also out of the midst thereof came the likeness of four living creatures. And the likeness of four living creatures. And this was their appearance. This is what they looked like. They had the likeness of a man. They had the likeness of a man, meaning that how you would, uh, here you have Jesus, who was the son of God, would have favor with God. That's right. Uh -huh. And everyone had four faces. Everyone had four faces because Jesus death will affect the four corners of the earth. And everyone had four wings. And everyone had four wings showing how the Spirit of God is designed to fill the earth. And their feet were straight feet. Their feet were straight let you know that the ways of the Lord are straight is not crooked. And the sole of their feet, and the sole of their feet was like the sole of a calf's was foot. like the sole of what? Of a calf's foot. It was like a calf's foot because a calf would be a sacrifice. They sparkled like the color of burnished bread. They sparkled like the color of burnished bread. Because brass represents he's a deliverer. Yeah. And they had the hands of a man. They had what? They had the hands of a man. And let you know he come to save you. He come to rescue you. He had to come in flesh to do it. And they had the hands of a man. He had the hands of a man. Under their wings, on their four sides. Under their wings. On their four sides. The wings represent the spirit of God where it takes that beast. That's right. The hands was under the, under wings, the wings because the wings were superior to the hands. That's right. The hands was under the wings and wherever the wings took it, that's where the hands went because the body of flesh and blood was led by the spirit. That's right. Hallelujah. Hands couldn't do nothing on its own. No. It had to be under the wings. Under the wings. It had to be under the eagle. It had to be under the spirit of God. That's right. That's why the hand said, I do nothing of myself. That's right. But as my father dwelleth in me, Hallelujah. he doeth the work. That's right. Hallelujah. I hope you can get this. Hallelujah. Come on, son. And they had the hands of a man under their wings under on their, their wing, four sides. On their four sides. And they four had their faces they and their four wings. They had their faces and their wings. Their wings were joined one to another. Joined what? Yeah. One to another. Jesus said, I am in the Father, mm. and the Father's in me. Oh, they yeah. turn not. Uh, all joined one joined. to the other. That's right. All right. They turn not when they, they went. turn not when they went. That lets you know God is just straight. That's right. There's no crooked in this journey. That's right. And he don't set up a crooked path. That's right. They turned not. Not when they went. When they went, there was no turning. That's right. Hallelujah. Right. Wherever they went, they didn't have to turn to do it. Right. Mm. They went, but didn't have to turn to do it. Wonderful. How can that be? God is everywhere. <laughs> That's right. God is everywhere. Hallelujah. Wherever he go, he ain't got the turn to do it. That's right. He's everywhere. That's right. He's already there. Already there. Glory to God. Their wings were joined. Their wings were joined. Hallelujah. One to another. One to the other. They turned not they, when they went. They turned not when, when they, they went. went. They went everyone straight forward. You see that? Yeah. Everyone straight forward. As for the likeness of their faces. Here's what it looked like now. In Ezekiel 1 and verse 10. Be quick. As for the likeness of their faces. What is it? They fore at the face of a man. Face of a man, the face of a man, how he come along and have favor with God. He, Jesus, the Bible says about Jesus that he had favor with God and with man. And? And you see that, that, that man was chosen. That's right. That man, he was a true vine. And he said, my father's the husband man. That's right. He, he was chosen. He was the chosen vessel. That's why he's born out in due time. Mm. It is written. Even so, he was chosen in bondage under the elements of the world when the fullness of time was come. Okay. God sent forth the son made of a woman, made under the law to redeem them that was under the law that we may receive the adoption of sons. So here comes the man, Christ Jesus, and the man of him was the mediator. The man of him was designed to redeem. The man of him was the sacrifice. The man of him was designed of God to be offered up for yeah. us. Hallelujah. The man of him. That's right. The flesh of him. That's right. All right. As for the likeness of their faces. As for the likeness of their faces. They four had the face of a man. Four. They yeah. four. They four. They four had the face of a man. The Son of God walked this earth. It would affect the four corners of the earth. That's right. Uh huh. They four had the face of a man. They four had the face of a man. And the face of a lion. Still talking about the four directions. That's right. Yeah. And the face of what? And the face of a lion on the right side. The lion is the power of God that was in that flesh. The lion was the authority of God that was in that flesh. You That's know, right. a lion is greater than a lamb. That's right. And the lion was in that lamb. That's right. That's why when the lamb came to the tomb of Lazarus. The lamb said, move the stone. The lion said, Lazarus, come forth. 
The lion is the spirit lion. of God. The lion is the power of God. The lion is the authority of God. That's where the lamb was just a sacrifice that God would offer. That's right. The lamb needed help from the lion. That's right. The lion got in the lamb, and you couldn't see the lion because the lamb wool kept it here. That's right. Ah! That's right. Oh, it take God. Do you see what I'm telling you? And the face of a lion on the right face side. Face of a lion on the right side. And they four at the face of a... When talk about the lion, they just talk about the spirit of God. That's right. When they talk about the lamb, it's talking about the son of God. When they talk about the man, it's talking about the son of God. That's right. All right. And they four had the face of an ox on the left side. Ox means sacrifice. Sacrifice are offering thy wood is not, not, but our body has thou prepared me. That's right. Ox represents the sacrifice. So the lamb, or rather the man, is flesh. Ox is pointing to flesh. Lion is pointing to spirit. And what else? They four also had the face of an eagle. Eagle. Amen. The eagle is pointing to the spirit of God. Spirit. Now listen at this. They four also had the face of an eagle. What else? That's where their faces. That's where their faces. And their wings were stretched upward. And their upward. wings were stretched upward. Two wings of every one Two were joined one, one to joined another. One to the other. And two covered their bodies. And what? And they went every one straight forward. Yes. Whether the spirit was to go. Wait a minute. Hallelujah. Where the spirit was to go. They went. I... What am? Seeking the Lord for the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. I want to mount up That's right. with wings as eagles. As eagles. As eagles. I want the Spirit of God as an eagle. I want to mount up on him. That's right. But I have to obey him in order to mount up. That's right. So when I mount up, he can take me off in the Spirit. Mm. Proof that I mounted up on him. Wonderful. The wind will be so great, it'll change my language. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. The wind, the spirit going to be so great, it going to change my language. The eagle represent God and the power of God. That's right. Mm. So now, now that I've received this Holy Ghost, Hallelujah. it will enhance my surviving ability. That's right. Isn't that what Isaiah tells us now? Back in Isaiah 40 and verse 31. What happened? But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. And what? They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run. Uh-oh. That don't mean I'm actually going to run. No. That's right. But what? And not be weary. That means my journey, my journey, my running mm. won't be in vain. That's right. I won't get weary because my hope is in the Lord. That's right. He's my strength. He's my rod and my staff. And my staff. You know, running will make you tired naturally. Yes. But if I get tired while I'm running spiritually, I got a rod and a staff, the comforter that can come help me. When I can't do no more, he can step in and help me. That's right. What else? They shall run and not be weary. And what? And they shall walk, walk. and not faint. Let you know this journey, you change pace. Uh -huh. mm. Run cool. is one pace. Walk, another pace. But yet you're still moving. That's right. So if I walk, mm. and what? I'm not faint. So I have to walk so I don't faint. That's right. That's right. Now the one that's walking, many times the same one that's running. Yeah. Because a lot of time, running is my start off. Right. right. Walking is my end up. That's right. That's right. I start off running because I miscalculated the journey. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I miscalculated the journey. That's right. Zeal make me run. Yeah. And the longer I run, the more my understanding come. I start running. That's right. Start walking. Start walking. <laughs> start taking my time now. That's it. Change pace. That's right. Still in the journey. Go ahead. Just learned a little better. That's right. Pastor Paul said, glory take God. Yeah. Know ye not that they was running the race. Run off. You have to wait, waiting, and obedience. Did you how to run right? Did you how to walk right? Because in the midst of that obeying him, so I receive the Holy Ghost.
it out. Amen. Glory to God. There's two things on the table. You're waiting for God to fill you, and he's waiting for you to obey him. That's right. Consider that. Yes, sir. And remember that. Remember that. Right. Wonderful, brother. You waiting on God to fill you? He's waiting on you to obey him. That's right. Oh, he's ready to fill you because he said, nigh thee. Nigh thee. At thy mouth, at thy heart. He said, the words of faith of the apostle, which we preach. We preach. Tarrying is not enough. Faith is not enough. Right. Obedience. That's right. Brings all of that into one. That's right. If I wait, I'm obedient to that command. If I have faith, he ordered me to do it because I'm coming to him. That's right. And I have to be patient while I wait. Yeah. I got a whole lot to obey. And there are things I got to stop doing and be making an effort to change. Close out with Chronicles. I believe 2 Chronicles. Second Chronicles. 714. Yes. Yeah. Second Chronicles chapter 7. Yeah, man. Get this. And at verse 14. Is everybody all right? Yeah. Oh, this, oh yeah. is, this is plainly outlined. Oh, yes. This is what the Holy Ghost brought in. It's a good lesson. Amen. And not only for Jamaica, but for everybody. That's right. Don't run ahead of the Spirit. Follow leadership to the letter and the God of peace will be with you. That's right. I'm not interested in how nobody feel. I'm interested in rightly dividing the word of truth. Yeah. So error don't be preached. That's right. That's what I'm interested in. That's right. Hear this. Second Chronicles 7 and verse 14. You ought to thank God that God gave you someone that can explain the Bible. Amen. Yes. Oh, yes. We don't have to be left in the dark. See how the Bible harmonized so beautifully. I mean, it harmonized beautifully. Oh, yeah. No complication there. Mm. Amen. Is it all right, William? It's all right. It Pastor. is all right. Amen. Ah, it's, it's good. Amen. Listen at this. Second Chronicles chapter 7 and verse 14. What is it? If my people, which are called by my name. If my people. My people. Which are called by my name. Shall humble themselves. Now here's the other stuff you got to obey. Yeah. God, ain't nobody going to receive the Holy Ghost who's arrogant and self-righteous. No you way. see, there's Old Testament and New Testament involved with receiving the Holy Ghost. That's yeah. right. Even though the Holy Ghost is in the New Testament, but it's also in the Old Testament. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I believe it's Ezra, if Estrus. I'm correct. Estrus. You better read, find, yeah. get Estrus. But let's finish up Chronicles while your other fingers do the walking. <laughs> Second Chronicles chapter 7 and yeah. verse 14. Where the fingers be doing the walking. <laughs> That's right. Hear this. If my people which are called by my name. Glory to God. God. Amen. If my people, which are called by my name, what do he want his people to do? Shall humble themselves. You got to obey that. And pray. On the day of Pentecost, these all continued in prayer. That's right. And supplication with the women and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brethren. That's right. Yeah. So they obey what Jesus told them to do. Yeah. Everything Jesus told them to do, they did it. They did it. That's right. They did it. From the command to wait. Stay in Jerusalem. Yeah. Stay there. Stay there. Yes. Till you be in due power from on high. Yeah. It'll be given to you. That's Not right. many days hence. That's right. If they would have disobeyed one thing, they would not obtain it. Yeah. Are you listening to me? Amen. All ministers, you cannot teach. The people to receive the Holy Ghost just by tarrying only. No. You must bring the complete message. That's right. Tarrying and obedience is the commandment right. of God to obtain the heavenly promise. And we are witnesses of these things. We are witnesses of these and things. And so is also the Holy so Ghost. Also the Holy Ghost. Whom God has whom given, God to them, have given to them. That obey him. You can't say tarrying is out the Bible and yet you tarry to receive it. That's right. Yeah. How is it you got it? And all of a sudden it ain't for nobody else. <laughs> Amen. No, hey, God don't work like that, buddy. No. No. 
Amen. Yeah. Amen. He said, I'm the same yeah. yesterday. yesterday. And the day and forevermore. And forever. He just promised it. That's right. Well, Pastor Dean, I don't see nowhere in the Bible where uh, anyone received the Holy Ghost waiting a long time. Really? Okay. That's right. I don't see nowhere in the Bible where anybody came out the water speaking in tongues. That's right. That's right. But I've witnessed it here. That's right. But it happens. It happens. God just wants obedience. obedience. It doesn't matter where you are. That's right. Don't limit God. And stop thinking like God, about God, the way you think about man. Right. God never put a stipulation on where you got to be and in what position. It just says, seek you the Lord That's right. while he may be found. While he may be found. Call upon him while he's, while, he's near. Near. while he's near. Your position is irrelevant. The opinion cost, they were sitting. When I received the Holy Ghost, I was laying on the floor. I got tired of sitting. Yeah. Backside was hurting too bad. Sitting in them hard chairs in that false church. <laughs> they have cushions like you do. We just had hard like a hard tree to sit on. <laughs> Get splendors in your drawers, all in your britches. Yeah. Brother, I was seeking the Lord for the Holy Ghost. Got tired of sitting there. I got up and laid on the floor. I crossed my leg and put my hands behind my head. I kept crying out to God. Amen. My back, my back got tired on the floor. I got up, got on my knees. Knees got tired, sat back down. I went from knee, sit, lay. Knee, sit, lay. Lay, sit, knee, knee, sit, lay. <laughs> I was all over the place. The position didn't matter. No. But we'll take God, but the Holy Ghost fell. Amen. Hallelujah to sweet Jesus. Amen. Real quick. Back in 2 Chronicles 7 and verse 14. What is it? If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray. This is how you receive the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Wait like he commands That's right. and obey. That's right. Wait like he commands and obey the instructions that you're being taught from God's word. Yeah. That's right. The promise is unto you. Yeah. He made the promise. Now it's up to you to present yourself so you can obtain the promise. That's right. right. So when you look at, I've been waiting five years, ten years. All right. My question to you, though, have you been obedient? Mm. Right. Disobedience lengthens your wait. Right. Yeah. Did you get me? Yeah. yeah. You're waiting on God to fill you. God is waiting on you to obey him. Right. Don't forget that. You're looking for God to fill you. God is waiting on you. Glory to God to obey him. That's right. Real quick, Williams. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray. And what? And seek my face. You got to seek his face. And turn from their wicked ways. While I humble myself and while I'm seeking him, yeah. I got to remain in my wicked ways. And turn from their wicked no, ways. No, just seek him and, and, and pray over my wicked ways. And turn from their wicked ways. I told you. He's waiting for you to do something. That's, That's right. right. That's a lot right. of you seeking him, but you ain't turning from nothing. That's the problem. You're seeking without turning. Right. Yep. But yeah, you want God to turn to you. Mm. You want God to turn to you, you got to turn from your wicked ways. That's right. And if you turn from your wicked ways, you'll be turning towards him. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. Do you hear it? And seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. And? Then will I hear from heaven. Oh, glory. Then. He, he spells it out very plain. Yeah. Then will I hear from heaven. I hear from heaven. And will forgive their sins. I forgive you for what you've done. And will heal their land. Heal is not necessarily narrowed down. Please, let me enlarge in the word healing. Yeah. Because a lot of you think healing is just as when you're sick. No. Healing simply means to deliver. That's right. When you've been delivered, you've been healed. Yeah. 
Many of us need emotional healing, mental healing, physical healing, spiritual healing. Right. What do you mean? You need mental deliverance, emotional deliverance, physical deliverance, spiritual deliverance. That's right. Deliverance and healing is the same thing. Yeah. Another word for it, to be rescued. Yeah. To be mentally rescued, emotionally rescued, physically rescued, and spiritually rescued. Right. Now do you get what I'm telling you? Wonderful. I have to make it plain. Yeah. Come on, Williams. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray. Pray. And seek my face. Seek the face of God. And turn from their wicked ways. Turn from your wicked ways. Then, then will I hear from heaven. I will hear from heaven. And will forgive their sin. I'll forgive you for what you're doing. And will heal their land. And I'll rescue you. Now my eyes shall be open. Now. Now, now shall mine eyes shall my eyes now mine eyes shall be open. Now what? Ma now mine eyes shall now be open. Now my eyes, mine eyes shall be open, and mine ears attend. My ears attend. Attend unto the prayer that is made in this place. Amen. Wonderful. Yes. You want God's eyes to come open? You want him to look at you and notice you? Yes. You want his ears? Yes. Do you hear what you're saying? Yes. Turn. Turn from their wicked ways. Remember, when you turn to him, you got to be turning, stopping what you're doing. And as you rotate, striving to pull off this, pull off that, pull off the other, he's right there waiting on you. That's right. To come lined up with him. It's wonderful. Not turn halfway when you're 45. <laughs> Once you line up, line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little, there a little. So remember, not many days hence, you can nail that just down to days. One day to the Lord is as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day to him. Regardless of how it is, he said the Lord is not slack. That's right. Concerning his promise. Not God. Not God. Oh, no. You're standing in your own way because of your disobedience. That is the reason why you don't have the Holy Ghost. There's something singular, some things, plural, that you're not obeying. The Bible speaks plain. And we are witnesses of these things. And so is also the Holy Ghost. Whom God hath given to them that obey. Back to the him. first chapter. Back in Acts 1 and verse 4. Read quick so I can knock off. And being assembled together with them. What did he do? Commanded them. This is a command. That's right. So you can't whitewash Terry in a way. You can't whitewash, no, you can't can't that. whitewash that man. That's dangerous. Amen. That's an order. That commanded them. And it wasn't just to his apostles. That's right. Every did, whatsoever thing is written for time is written for our, our learning. Oh, if yeah. this is written for our learning, not just for the learning of the apostles. That's right, that's right. Whatsoever things are written for time is written for our learning. Our right. learning. That we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. So I have hope Wonderful. in what he told them to do. My hope is in tarrying. My hope Wonderful. is in obeying. My hope is in that command. That's right. Because it's written a four times. Four times. So I can learn what to do. Wonderful, wonderful. Are you going to whitewash Terry? No way. Follow the apostle that God gave you. That's it. And if you don't understand the Bible, let me open it up for you. That's right. Wait. Because God's going to guide me right. Yes, he is. Your feeling going to guide you wrong. That's right. Wonderful, brother. Wonderful. Just wait. Yeah. That's it. We're getting a hairy. That's right. Wait. Wait. Don't ever come to me. This is the way I see it. You don't insult the Bible. Yeah. That's true. Don't tell me the way you see it when I'm the one sent to teach you. That's right. I'm the one sent to teach you. Right. You don't find Timothy running to Paul. This is the way I see it. Apollo is coming to Paul. This is the way I see it. Gay is coming to Paul. This is the way. No, ain't no one do that to the apostles. No way. No. No. Not only did they know protocol, they respect protocol. That's right. You got to stay in your place. That's right. 
Do not come to me telling me the way you see anything. No. no. And then take off and run it. Yeah. Like I said last night, many times, me and Dan have talked. Dan, you know what? I was reading the script, the script, the such and such and such. He's, and know what he always say? Before I put it out there, yeah. I want to make sure you and I are on the same page. That's right. That's right. He said, and, and, this, and this is what we have done for years. He said, my, under, my, I, my understanding, he said, I understand this. He said, but I want to make sure that you and I are on the same page. Yeah. And he'll bring his understanding because it's critical. If the Bible says, now beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you all speak the same thing. Jesus. It ain't none of us got the right to take matters in our own hands. Right. And these souls of the people are at stake? No! That's right. That's right. It's my job to rebuke and chastise. That's right. Your job is to fall in place. That's it. Don't insult me and tell me, I hear what you're saying, but. It ain't but. no buts. Right. But. Fall in line or sit down. That's right. That's right. That's right. Fall in line or sit down. That's right. Yes. That's it. This is Bible order. Yeah. Anyone been around me know I ain't playing when it comes to that Bible. Oh, no. Yeah. Don't tamper with nobody's soul. That's right. Bible is a soul protector. That's right. If you don't know, wait. That's right. Pastor Jim, I've been trying to reach you a long time. A whole lot of others. <laughs> I'd rather wait and get that scripture right and take off running. Yeah. That's right. All this laboring God blessing us to do yeah. to catch these souls. All Satan wants is one lie to get there. That's it. That's what he wants. And then somebody died. Imagine someone died the next day that believed that. Mm. You know how quick that can happen? Yeah. Somebody die the next day that believe it. Or somebody jump up and say, I don't have to tarry. What? And the Lord commanded? Well, I ain't got to tarry. Or you don't? Mm. The whole island of Jamaica got to tarry. Yeah. Your government. That's right. Your prime minister. Everybody. That's right. In the world. Whatsoever things are written a full time and written for our learning. Learn. We got to learn it and we got to practice it. Yeah. We got to tarry and obey. That's right. Don't you ever whitewash God's commandment? That's right. The Bible said, I'll run in the way of thy commandments. Thou have enlarged my heart. Yeah. That's being overzealous. Oh, yes. Yeah, you, you, you got to slow down now. Yeah. You couldn't see you was being overzealous. I'm telling you, as your leader, you're being overzealous. Yeah. Right. Slow down now. Right. Let this be a lesson. Slow down. Yeah. You just done uh, a great wrong. You threatened people's souls. Yeah. Slow down. Yeah. Amen. I mean it. From this day forward, you better slow down. Yeah. If you can't reach me, wait. Critical that you wait. You yeah. think God ain't God don't give you apostles for nothing? No way. It ain't some ham and egg office. No, no, no way. Oh no. No, no. Jesus. Wonderful, brother. It's an office designed for the furtherance of the church. That's right. Wonderful. You can't reach me when you want to. Wait! That's right. All these people we're leading everywhere. Yeah, some folk. Been, I met with a sister, uh, I think it was last week. She said, I've been waiting to talk to you for a few years now. I told her, stand in line. There's other ministers still waiting to get a hold of me. I'm only one person. Only one person. But I'd rather wait and then teach what I know. Because the Bible says this. They shall proceed no further. no further. And Jesus said, exact no more than what's commanded you. That's true. So when I chastise and rebuke a minister, there ain't no need for none of you ministers or none of you members trying to pet him up. That's right. 
I don't care nothing about your petting. If I lay Williams out, it don't need for Reese to try to pet him. <laughs> Williams, you all right? It doesn't matter if he's all right. <laughs> Care none of whether he all right or not. He gotta take chastisement like everybody else. That's right. You other brothers and sisters can call him and whatever you like. He gotta take his medicine like anybody else. Calling him don't make him right. He errant. It's wrong. That's right. I say this because I know church people. That's right. You hear what Pastor Jenna said? Jenna How said. you feel about it? You got to obey it or go to hell. That's, right. That's it. I'm not into the feelings of people. Right. How you feel about it? Obey it or go to hell. That's why people say, he ain't loving. It doesn't matter how you think of me. First chapter of the book of Jeremiah. Amen. As patient as I am, if I was like the old bishop, that one mistake, he wouldn't even have a chance. That's, that's true. true. Am I right, Dan? Yes, that's true. If I was, listen, I'm telling you the truth. If this would have happened under Bishop S.C. Johns, uh -huh. your first shot, you go. Wow. Not only that, he would have called you a false prophet. Wow. You wouldn't have had a chance. Mm. I remember a discussion between him and Elder Geis. Over the Son of God, his own minister. And I listened to that discussion in its entirety. And you can hear the sincerity in Elder Geist. Hmm. And when Johnson was done with him, Johnson said, Johnson was so frustrated. He said, Are you so silly? Are you so blind? Are you so full of the devil? He said, Guys, you have the devil. <laughs> Wasn't for long, he disfellowshipped. Wasn't long after that, guys died. Wow. Mm. Guys died. Mm. I'm not a watchman for nothing. That's right. If you can't get to me, wait. That's right. That's right. Listen at this. Jeremiah 1, we'll start at verse 4. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying... I had one of the members, I don't know who he was, comment on the message. And I was talking about none of my sons was ready to marry. And right. One of the members, I don't know who he was, commented, Pastor Jenna need to be more patient. Mm. You ain't fit to talk to me about patience. That's right. No way. I'm more patient than you ever could be. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I'm very patient. That's right. Yes, you are. Am I, am I right, William? Oh, yeah. If I wasn't patient, I'd never come to church. That's right. Dealing with people. God had to put it in you to deal with people. That's right. I'd rather mind cattle. That's right. That's right. And I don't know how to mind cattle. <laughs> I don't know how to mind cattle. <laughs> but I know if a cattle got on my nerves, I just go to the shed, get a sawed-off shotgun, put some, put, put some hay. I'll put some hay on the end on it and go right to the cattle. Here. Wait till he put his mouth on it. Boom. What? And I'll walk away from the cattle. <laughs> Can't do that with people. You got to labor, 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 labor. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they still won't listen. That's true. You know what it's like to show people the Bible? I know what the Bible says, but. But what? But what? That's shut your mouth and take what the Bible says. Yeah. There ain't right. no buts. Yeah. That's something. Try to shelve your opinion on me and your thoughts and God spoke. That's right. Respect God and take your opinion and dump it. God, man, That's you make right. a comment like that towards the Bible? I know what the Bible said, but, but nothing. But. Take the Bible and always put it above how you think or feel. That's something. Don't try to match emotions with God. That's right. Don't I tell folk, it doesn't matter what you think. You see that? He's so cold-blooded. He ain't loving. He ain't loving like the bishop I came from. Then go back to him. That's right. That's right. You love your bishop because you can get away with anything. Yeah. 
hey, I'm not seeking friends. Where these bishops seeking friends yeah. and accolade and honor. I'm seeking to be saved. Yeah. This is why I feel the way I do. Jeremiah. Jeremiah 1 and at verse 4. What is it? Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Hmm. This is the ingredients of someone God sent. Before I formed you in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out, out of the womb, womb I sanctified I set thee, you aside. and I ordained thee a prophet and I unto the nations. You a messenger to the nations. Then said I, then Ah, said Lord, I, God, Lord God, behold, I cannot I speak. speak because I'm a child. But the Lord said unto me, Say Lord not, said, I am a child. Don't you try to bring no excuse to me about you a child. For thou shalt go to thou all that I shall go send to thee. All that I shall send and thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. That's what's wrong with me. That's it. That's what's wrong with me. That's what got me to where I am. That's right. That's right. Amen. I'm not the same as I was 20 years ago. No. Or that God, I get worse all the time. That's right. That's right. God ordered it that way. Not the same. That's true. Hear this. Be not afraid of their faces. Oh, no. I ain't afraid of nobody. Nobody. And I mean nobody. That's right. You say, don't be afraid of what? Of their faces. The way some of you folk look at me? I ain't paying the way you look no mind. I wouldn't care if you look like Medusa, a wildebeest, a hyena, a cactus. I don't care. I've been preaching and preaching, and some folk got so mad they look right in my face. I've been preaching and had men and women put their middle finger up at me. Right in church. Wow. I, it doesn't faze me at all. Amen. That's right. I've been mm -hmm. preaching the word of God and, and, and look out in the audience and you can read sometime what a person lips for a set. And I had, I had people right in their congregation, F you. <laughs> and they made sure that I can make it plain what they said. They moved their lips very slow. My Lord. Amen. <laughs> Amen. But the Holy Ghost.